What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. All right, take two. My camera already just died. Tonight we're actually having like a little dinner party with some guys on Shelly's soccer team. He really wanted to make his tacos. I don't know if I've ever showed it on my channel before, but he makes these really good tilapia fish tacos um, with this good like white sauce on it and guacamole and it's amazing. So he's going to cook that tonight and I'm going to try to help if I can. <laughs> and um, we're just going to hang out, maybe drink some wine. And I just wanted to vlog because I thought it'd be a fun night. So yeah, let's go check it out. I think he's just done making the food. Are you trying to sit? Yeah. You're saying I don't vlog enough, so. Easy. Oh, you're vlogging right now? Yeah. Yeah. Vlog? Yep. Yeah. So how do you guys like Shelly's dinner? Oh, um, fire. Oh, he hasn't tried it yet. Okay, let's get first impressions. That's it. They're very light. Like, come on. Come on. You look nice. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. Gucci, you can't mm -hmm. have any. You can't have any. Watch out. Mm. Yeah? Next stop, chef. <laughs> mm. Watch out, Gordon Ramsay. What's up, Malik cooking? Mm hmm. Gush, gush. <laughs> I made the guac. You almost burned down the house. I did. I always started one fire, okay? <laughs> you want to know all the secrets? Yeah, please. Shelly didn't want me to make the guac how I make the guac, but I made it how I make it. And you like it? Yes. <laughs> See? See, Shelly? What? You have to trust me. They I like the guac. What? No, he doesn't know how to make guac. I made blackened tilapia fish tacos for the boys. Um, they were really, really bad. Jeff's thrown up in the bathroom. Ah. Hopefully he's <laughs> And yeah, that's it. <laughs> They're good. I'm gonna show it. Got enough fish for the whole team here. Enough sauce for the whole team. Yeah. Should've made more guac. Huh? Should've made more guac. I know. Do we not have any more avocados? No. <laughs> Anthony's on round three already. I haven't even started Dude, round one. Are you trying to stay on 146? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I might have an avocado. This is my last bit. I'm kidding. You can have it. I can't believe you eat 10 of these. Easy. Well. Huh? I pulled out. You're what? I'm full now. After how many? Four. Oh, you pussy. <laughs> really? <laughs> Set up the whole table. <laughs> no one wants to eat with me. <laughs> I'm good. Um, I might be able to force one more. <laughs> you know what I really think makes this whole meal? The guac. The guac? Yeah, the guac is hot. It's the best part. It's the best part. <laughs> Also, the onions in the white sauce. Perfectly cut up. <laughs> They're really good. It's just a lovely finish. The control, I think, because of the bounce, just allows them. Mimi, when did we meet? Oh, there's one day. When did we meet? Ottawa. That was the first time I met you? Yeah. I flew all the way to. I feel like I've known you for like four years. I flew all the way to Canada to meet you. What? I can't see. Have you ever had the celebration cookies? No. I've never even seen those. I don't think you've ever had Shelly's cookies. Dessert. Shelly's specialty. <laughs> a specialty. It's a very, compli perfectly. very complicated recipe. Yep. Oh my god, you oh. actually ate all the fish. Jesus. I told you, perfect amount. Very impressed. Andrew loved these cookies, so I'm gonna give him. Because it's the only perfect one left. And they're better cold, I think. Yes? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, no, you know, you want that one's actually the last one. Thanks for showing me. Sure oh, I look horrible. What time is it? Like 10 now? Huh? Like 10? You know how I knew they were gonna like my tacos? Because Anthony said the best tacos he ever had was from Jilly's. <laughs> I was like, yeah, don't like mine. Anthony would say that though. That's the funniest part. I know, I know. I was like, have you had like tilapia tacos? He's like, I've only had tacos a couple times. I go, well, where's your favorite tacos? He said, I went to Chili's. They're really good. <laughs> Best tacos I've ever had. <laughs> I, like, okay. I wonder what the other place was he had tacos at. Ch Taco if Bell. Chili's was probably, the best. Oh my god. Or like uh, Taco Del Mar or something. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Because he's funny. the guy that I was like, hey, instead of going IHOP, we should go to the first watch. Or go to oh, yeah, he said IHOP was the best breakfast place he's ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> what is Canada doing to him? Is Do they not have good restaurants there or something? This is <laughs> so funny. Yeah. All right, well, it's like 10 o'clock. I'm super tired. You want to clean it tomorrow or today? Clean? Tomorrow, for sure. I hate cleaning. Okay, well, let's at least move all the glasses so Gucci doesn't, like, knock it all over. <laughs> all right, I don't have to wake up early tomorrow. Woo! Start work at 10 instead of 6. Oh, also, I'm taking notes right now. I can't really tell you guys what this is for, but I've taken a couple pages of notes for a really cool Skype call that I'm having, and I get to probably tell you guys about it later once I know how it goes. So, yeah. Okay, so it's Thursday now? When did I last see you guys? I think it was Tuesday. Um, anyways, I am in front of the backdrop. Obviously, and I have the nice lights out. I got all ready. Like I was saying before about that certain thing that I was allowed to tell you guys about, I just had my Skype call with a certain person in LA and um, this is like the most random thing that's ever happened to me but I'm just <laughs> taking the opportunity and just running with it. So yeah, I just had a little Skype meeting. Um, it was kind of like an interview audition thing. Honestly, like I don't really know much. It's hard because they're like, they aren't allowed to tell me much about what's going on so like it's funny because like in the interview they're like okay do you have any questions i'm like yeah like what is this and they're like well we can't really tell you so um anyways they said i'll hear back in about five to six weeks so hopefully in five to six weeks i can tell you guys one way or the other and if i don't get chosen that's perfectly fine because i don't even really know what's happening so um yeah anyways I don't really know what I'm gonna do now because I just spent a long time doing my makeup and my hair, but now I'm not going anywhere. So, uh, I don't know. But um, anyways, this is the shirt that I bought for the interview. Um, I actually just got this from Target. So I went to so many stores yesterday looking for like an appropriate but cute long sleeve shirt to do this interview. I have to tell you how many places I went. After work yesterday, I went to Macy's, JC Penney's, Nordstrom, J. Crew, Banana Republic, Forever 21, Express, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Nordstrom Rack, Target twice. I went to all of those places yesterday and I got back at like seven o'clock. I was so tired. Um, but yeah, this is like really exciting. I just wish I could tell you guys what it is. Um, I also got this necklace from Target. I wanted to have a necklace just because um, whatever this thing is that I'm doing, it has to do with design, so I still wanted to be creative. It's not really like a very formal interview. So I bought this cute necklace too. I wanna show you guys a uh, close up. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like, it's like really small gold beads. I'm rewarding myself with a piece of cookie dough. Well deserved. Oh my God, I hate interviews. I hate them. What's frustrating is that like this person I'm talking to works with like casting, okay? So they're trying to find somebody, but they're not, they don't work in interior design. So like, you don't wanna bore them with like all these interior design facts and like words and stuff like that. You just wanna come across as interesting because that's probably what they're looking for. It's like a fun, interesting person. So I don't know, it's weird. It's not like a design interview, which is what I'm used to, you know? where you're like proving yourself design wise. I don't know. Anyways, I will show you guys the whole setup for the interview I just did. Shelly helped me set all this up while I was getting ready. Thank I you, Shelly. I didn't Shelley. get paid. So this is the setup 
for the Skype call I just had. They said to have nice lighting, a good background, everything. So I was like, hey, I got it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So I just sat right there. It was perfect. Okay, this shirt is actually kind of cute. So here's my necklace close up so you can see the details on it. It's kind of cool. I bought all this stuff like not thinking I would actually keep it, you know, but like I actually like it. Let me know if I should keep this shirt. Like the video if I should keep it and the necklace. I also bought red earrings too because I was going to choose between the earrings and a necklace. Like I was going to give myself the option, but I ended up with this necklace because I thought it looked cute and um, just these earrings that I already had. So yeah, and I'm wearing my pajama pants. <laughs> Thank God for Skype interviews. All right, so Shelly is in the bedroom right now because I didn't want him making noise out here and I wanted him to have the cat in there as well because Gucci loves to be in front of the camera. It was so funny because I was FaceTiming my mom right here before the Skype call and Gucci just came and sat on the chair and was just staring at the camera. So I had to get her out of here, but um, let's go see if they're in there and he might be asleep, so go look. Hello. What's up? Did you miss me? It's annoying because I'm like vlogging this, but I can't really say anything because I don't really want to like say it and then not like. I just said I'm like doing a Skype thing. Why? I don't know. Because it's like it would be embarrassing if I didn't get whatever this was. Okay, I don't even know what it is really. Yeah. And it was so, so funny because at the end she's like, do you have any questions? I'm like, yeah, like, I'm like, is there just going to be like one person or like one for each thing, each episode or whatever and she's like probably just one maybe two but probably just one i was like oh great <laughs> probably won't get chosen i don't think it's embarrassing to say what it is at all really yeah you don't have to say the name of it you don't have to say the person's name or anything two days ago the night that we had the tacos i i think i vlogged that so when i vlogged last i found gucci's treats on the ground in the pantry completely chewed like there was a hole in the bag and she ate every single treat and she got it off of the shelf like this high up in the pantry so i don't really know how she did that and then today i get home from work and this bag of food right here gucci's food oh my god she's insane did you see that gucci I'm not gonna feed you right now. I was just gonna tell my vlog. Anyways, this bag was on the floor with bite marks all over it. She was trying to bite a hole in this bag and eat all of it. Okay, so now what do I do with my life? What do I do? Originally, I wasn't gonna say what's going on because I thought it would be really embarrassing if I, I didn't get it or whatever, but Maybe I should just tell you guys because it is kind of cool that this is even happening. So I got an email from somebody in LA who works in casting. He's a casting producer or junior producer. And he was wondering if I would be interested in um, doing an interview with the casting director for an interior design show. And it's not like a big HGTV thing. I think it's on like an online platform or some sort of platform, so I'm not quite sure. I don't know the specifics, but that's, that's pretty much all I know about it. Um, but they're just looking for somebody young, fresh, like kind of like in the millennial generation. Um, and they wanted me to interview, so that's what I just did. I just interviewed with the casting director in LA, which is kind of cool, like what? what um i still think someone's just messing with me so i was so scared that like i spent two hours getting ready i even told shelly i was like what if someone's just pranking me and like i go to skype them and it's just like someone laughing so the only thing i was so bad at was she said because producers are gonna be listening to it you have to answer in complete sentences so not just like you know if she asked like what's your favorite color don't say like blue say like my favorite color is blue and i kept messing up but yeah i don't know that was my first casting interview. Maybe not last. Hopefully not last. <laughs> Why is this chair like this? Because one of the back screw came undone. Did you fix it? No. You just left how. it there? I don't know how. Just thought the tool fairy would come and fix it? You're the tool fairy. I had to take these burners off of the stove. 
and wash them all because Shelly started a fire in here. <laughs> I don't know. I start to say what happened. <laughs> I was, it was the night when he made tacos. I tried to help, but I poured too much oil on. So then I tried pour, pouring the oil back into the bottle from the pan over the burner and then it went into the burner. <laughs> I was, and, I was like, and then it all started flaming like all the way up to here. I was like, just, just go sit down. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> but then I did make a good guac, so I made up for it. So I'm cleaning each one by hand now. The lesson learned: don't uh, spill oil into your burner. That is a bad idea. Shelly, now you know. Fire and oil. Who would have thought? I don't need your sass. It was an accident. Shelly, do you see the marks on here where Gucci was licking the butter? Right there. I came in here last night and she was licking her lips and I looked at the butter. By the way, look how cute this is. I got this from Target. I think it's like a Magnolia home thing, but it's really cute. Ew, you stuck plates in the burner water. Yeah, just to rinse off. Mm. What is she doing? I read somewhere that that's like their way of like getting their scent. Well, she's really getting her scent all over our fridge. And the washing machine. And the bathtub. She's, she's putting her scent everywhere. Why do you want your scent on the refrigerator? Gucci Gucci. What are you doing over there? She's always upside down. This is what come late looks like for most of the day. All day long. You know what's funny? He never even hangs out with me. Huh? You were doing the interview. For like an hour. Um, you know what's funny? Is I posted uh, that, like the daily schedule of a pro today. Mm -hmm. And I had a lot of people be like, that's it, like one training, that's all you do. And uh, and like kind of like basically say that the amount of free time is just- That like, you're lazy? Yeah, but it's like, you haven't gone through nine months, 10 months of training with a professional level, you know? Every, every day. single day with games one or two times a week with weightlifting two to three times a week and all the like toll it does on your body. Like, people can barely even survive through a season without multiple little muscular injuries. I need a little fancy fingers, fancy keyboard. I want one. You get me one for my birthday? No, your birthday's not till September. So? Look how messy our table is though. How can you work like that? I'm focused. It's called flow. It's called the zone. No. No. Okay, see you later. Look at you. Look at you. I kept expecting a second plot twist where we found out that Hillary Swank actually was a boy. Here's some, some references. Our top clients. You call any of them. I trust you'll hear some good things. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do a little plug for my Instagram because I'm kind of proud of it right now and I'm doing a lot more posting on it than I have lately. So if you guys wanna go follow me there, I would really appreciate it. It's just Mimi underscore Estelle and I'll put it on the screen right here. Um, but yeah, I'm just really proud of um, how it's going and I just wanted to mention it just in case you're not following. It's 82 and the weather app says thunderstorms 82 and thunderstorms thunderstorms what? happen when cold front beats warm front so thunderstorms can't happen when it's cold um it can but it's just with there needs to be a a two converging different like fronts of, of warm and cold air so it's super rainy and i can't really do anything um so i posted on my instagram story that i would do a q and a on my youtube vlog thing this <laughs> um but while i was like posting this story i was like nodding off because i'm so tired i woke up at five and i know we go at five but the day before and the day before the day before i'm so tired but i'll answer a couple of the questions first and then take a nap I'll probably answer some now and then maybe some later because I want to give you guys a chance to like see it. First question. 
career aspirations. How does it tie in with Matt and his dream of training, of a training facility? Oh, that's a good question. So Shelly, if you don't know my boyfriend, he his like ultimate dream is to have a become elite soccer training facility. And I think that ties in pretty well with my aspirations because I want to have my own business, obviously, like you guys know, where I design my own home decor and furniture and all that jazz. Oh, hi, Gucci. So um, as long as I have access to the resources that I need, like distributors or um, I don't know, factories and everything, like Southern California is a really good place to be. So I'm hoping that's where he has a training facility. That's where he wants to have it, but it's also really, really expensive, like land and property and everything is so expensive in San Diego. So it'll just depend on if we can do that or not. I think it'll be fine. We'll be fine. Right, pumpkin? Someone just asked what lipstick color I'm wearing. And I really don't want to get up, but it's by MAC. I'm gonna look on my phone and try to find it. I know it's a new one. It's a new, I don't know if it's a new formula, but it's definitely a new color. So let me see. I really could just get up and walk to the bathroom, but let me see. Ooh, this is a good one. Someone said, is your current job in the interior design field? So that's a tricky one because I consider social media like one of my jobs. So that definitely is my day job that I do usually in the mornings, afternoon-ish is not so much. It's just a way for me to get out of the house and get some money and just like interact with human beings. So I would say not really, but um, all of my other jobs are. And this is just temporary, so that's why um, I don't really mind it. And I don't have a car, I don't have my own car here. So I actually did find a couple interior design companies and just like uh, branding design uh, companies that I wanted to work for here in Tulsa, but I wouldn't have a car to drive there every day and I didn't want to Uber every single day for like 10 months. So the answer is kind of. Someone said, getting my associate's degree in interiors, any advice? I would say that it is really cool that you're doing that and I'm really proud of you because a lot of people want to do it but they just don't make the leap and actually do it. So that's really good. Um, I would say my biggest piece of advice would be to try to do an internship or get a job while also working because it's always kind of a bummer when you graduate from school and you have all this like education and like school experience but you don't have any work experience so i would try to do both if it's possible for you and that way you can kind of build up both aspects of your portfolio at the same time and i also find that you learn totally different things from both um, areas so you learn things at school that you can't learn um, in a job and then you learn things in a job that you will never get the chance to actually learn or figure out or practice in school do you have any idols in your life <sighs> idols yes I would say for different reasons I idolize my parents for how hard-working they are and how they don't really care what other people think of them like their life isn't about image and material possessions which i really admire um career wise i would say kelly Wurstler is a huge one i just love how creative she is and how she was able to establish her own style in interior design which i think is really hard to do it's hard to have your own voice and it's hard to find your own style where like when somebody walks into a room or looks at a, an item that you've designed and they know instantly that it's you, I think that is an amazing feat. So I do idolize her a lot. You guys are asking good questions. I'm actually impressed. I was worried that I'd get like kind of surface level ones, but this is actually really fun. Okay, I'll answer a couple more and then I'll take my nap. Oh my God, Gucci looks like she wants to kill me. Ow. Can you not hit me? Thank you, That's, that would be nice. Thank you. Stop biting. If you guys know how to make cats stop biting, please let me know because she like does it playfully, but like it's getting really annoying and it's starting to hurt really bad. It was cute when she was a kitten and her teeth didn't hurt, but now they really hurt, so please don't. Okay, I think that's it for now because I'm so tired. I'm falling asleep, so I will screenshot them and then answer them later. Thank you guys so much for asking them. I really appreciate it.
Hey guys, so it's now Friday and I worked pretty early this morning um, until about one. So I just got back a little while ago and now I'm helping out my family friend. Um, her stepmom just bought a new house that came with a bunch of antiques. It was fully furnished, but it was kind of like older stuff. So I'm just helping her refurnish the place. Um, we're just picking out some lighting and mirrors and I'm just doing some photoshopping so she can see what the options would look like So after I finish this I do want to finish that Q&A that I was working on because you guys sent some really good questions over the last like 24 hours So I will get to that after I finish doing this for her So yesterday we were trying to find um, a mirror and sconces for this bathroom. So she already bought this bath vanity and the style she likes is kind of like, she said like cottage, lake house, kind of like farmhouse style. She likes Joanna Gaines, but like a little more cottagey. So she already bought this bath vanity and we were trying to find a mirror and sconces. So the options I gave her were like a matte black or almost like an oil rubbed bronze, which is this guy over here. And then the other alternative was to do uh, more of like a brass. So we ended up going with this because she liked the gold. So we ordered some shower and bath faucets already in the same color. But we're trying to find a different mirror because this one, I don't remember what happened. I think it was out of stock or something. So this is a bigger image of the sconce. It's really pretty. She really liked the candelabra style for the bulb. So we went with this candle sconce right here. She obviously just likes it a little more feminine than I do. So that's why we went with the um, brass, but this is the black one. I really like that. We're going to try out a couple different mirrors. So this is the mirror that the house has right now. This is just like in the hallway. They were testing out some sconces that they already had, but I told her that these other finishes would look better than the polished chrome, which is what those are. So we are going to test out a couple mirrors. We're going to test out this oval one that I found on... Was this on Overstock? I think I found this on Overstock. She really liked that one. And we are also gonna test out this guy, which is a cool antique white finish. And it's kind of more like a French um, kind of shape, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna test out this guy. Also found this one as an option for wood. It's just a little bit more modern, obviously, because of the straight edges. So I'm gonna Photoshop those guys. Um, onto the sink with these sconces and then also I'm gonna put her paint color behind um, So there's not just like nothing behind and whenever I'm shopping online um, and doing stuff like this I always like to have a tape measure on hand because even though obviously I can put in um, The items to scale on here I also like just to be able to visualize in person like how big the mirrors are Obviously in school you learn how to do this like professionally and really well, but it doesn't quite it doesn't really take an expert to be able to do this. Like if you're at home and you have Photoshop or um, you have some sort of program where you can do this, it's really, really helpful and it's not that hard. You don't have to cut the items out. You can literally just screenshot the mirror, put it right there, not worry about the perspective or the scale or anything um, and just be able to see what it looks like before you order something online. It's always really helpful. I don't know how well this is showing up on the camera, but you can kind of see that now the background is a little creamy. That's the Bear Swiss Coffee. And it's a really pretty color. It's pretty popular um, for an off-white. And yeah, it looks good. So we're gonna try that out with some different mirrors. So I can show you guys how I cut out items. It's super easy. Um, if it has a white background, that is definitely preferred. It's a lot easier to cut out items with a white background. So what I do is I go over here to the left and I click on the third item from the top, which is the magic wand tool. Then you can just click out here and it's going to highlight the entire background. And then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it and you're going to do select inverse. So instead of selecting the background, now it's selecting the actual mirror. And then I'm going to go up here and click my top tool up here, which is the move tool. I'm just gonna do command C, which is copy, and then I'm gonna do paste. So what I did was I was selecting the mirror, just the mirror, not the background, and I copy and paste it. So now I have just the mirror, and then I also have the original picture that I used. So I'm gonna delete the original one. I'm gonna make sure I'm clicking the right layer, deleting that and then now all I have is the mirror that I copy and pasted to a new layer. When you copy and paste it makes a new layer. So now I have the mirror. If you do command T, that's transform, 
you can change the shape of it. So ideally I would be doing this in AutoCAD so I can actually do it um, accurately to scale, but I'm just kind of using my eye and also using this in person. And I know that this guy right here, I know the height of this sink cabinet and I know the width. So I can use that to judge about how big the mirror should be. You want the sconces to be a little bit above halfway on the mirror because you don't want them to be too low. This is totally just like an impromptu Photoshop lesson. <laughs> um, if you want a real tutorial on this, let me know. All right, I just had to charge my camera for a couple minutes, but I finished with all the mirror options. We tried two wooden ones out, a white antique one and that gold oval one that I showed you guys. And I think her favorite is the white. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So that is the final decision I think she had to make for the bathroom. So now I think I'm gonna finish my Q&A. So hold tight. <laughs> Someone said, how financially stable are you in life? I don't really wanna answer that um, in too much detail because I think that's a personal question. I do have a savings and I work really hard on my savings, but I make it a rule um, for myself to not take out anything from that savings. So I do have a little bit of money stored away for my future if I wanna buy a house or whatever, but um, I don't use it. So in my day-to-day -day life, I'm not that financially stable, but I do make it a point to save. Someone said, my room is very boring. How could I completely change it for cheap? Cause I have no money. And they specifically wrote uh, pounds. They have no pounds. <laughs> so I'm guessing they're from England. Okay, so I think paint is the single best investment you could possibly make when uh, redoing your house or doing a makeover or whatever. It's relatively cheap for how much um, you get out of it. You can spend about maybe $40, $50 on a gallon or two of paint and literally completely change your room. So if you only have a little bit of money, that's the first thing I would do. Someone said, are you interested or have you tried working for some of the more renowned firms in California? So obviously I'm interested in that, but I have not done that yet. And the reason why is because in these bigger firms, you tend to get pigeonholed. And I learned that actually when I was going on um, some job interviews, I actually interviewed at a smaller architect, um, architecture and design firm. And they told me that they, the owner had actually um, started out in a really big firm. And what happens is there's so many people that they have to divide it up into divisions and then even divide that up even more. So you could spend years literally drawing bathroom sink cabinets. That could literally be your job because there's so many people that you don't really have um, the ability to do a lot of different jobs. When you work for a smaller company, you get the opportunity to work in like every division. And that's what I was doing at my last uh, design firm. And I really liked that. So I got to work with the architects and then, you know, 10 feet away, I was working with other designers. And then next to that, I was working with the people in the budgeting and the finance division. So I personally like to do more of everything. Um, and I find that that's a little bit harder in the big design firms. Someone said, is it hard after university to find a job as an interior designer? So I'm gonna say yes for that one, but I don't want to intimidate you. I think it's probably the same as any other career. It's hard because they want somebody with experience, but you can't get experience without having experience. Someone said, not a question, but I love your makeup looks. And I appreciate that a lot. I really don't wear makeup that often because I hate taking it off with a passion. So when I go to work, um, like I did today, I really didn't put that much on. So I do not look um, anything like I did yesterday, but thank you so much. What has led you to choose interior design? Love you. Oh, thank you. I would say that my upbringing definitely influenced me to choosing interior design. I grew up with my dad building cabinets. He's a contractor and my mom's also an artist. So I've been around this industry for a really long time. And um, I think the best way to describe it is I'm an artist. I love creating, I love doing anything creative, and this is the one type of art that you can live in and that you can actually experience um, for real. And you can live in it and sit in it, and I just think that is the coolest thing ever. So I just love everything about it, honestly. Do you feel more artistically liberated when cooking or baking? If that's an either or question, I would choose baking 100%. I hate cooking. I hate cooking, but I love baking because you can be way, way more creative with it. What's the secret of this beauty, Mimi? <laughs> I don't have a secret. 
lots of water and stay out of the sun. Those are my secrets. What is the best advice you could give someone who's going to study interior design? I guess I kind of already answered this. I just think it's so important to just keep your mind open and to always be open to learning and to new ideas because I truly believe that um, to be creative, you have to be uh, surrounded by creativity, if that makes sense. So whenever I'm on Pinterest or I'm just looking at anything creative, especially if I'm in person, if I'm looking at interior design stores or uh, showrooms or anything, I'm getting way more inspiration um, and it just gives me different ideas that maybe I wouldn't have had on my own. So I would just say to start, try to stay creative and not just get sucked into school um, completely. How should I prepare to get into a college for interior designing degree? Well, it just depends. If you want to go to like an art institute or something like that, that's a little more of like an, a prestigious artistic school for interior design, you do need to have a portfolio. So it would be helpful to do art to do some art classes in high school. And if you haven't, then you can always just create a portfolio on your own. Um, it's a little bit harder, but you can do it. Yeah, I mean, it just, it just really depends on where you wanna go. It's just like any other college. Um, the more prestigious it is, the more experience and preparedness you need to have. All right, so I think I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you sent in any questions on my Instagram, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Also remember to follow me if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye, Gucci. Say goodbye. You see? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, bye, guys.